Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, this is my third time doing this video. I tried to do it yesterday, but it was much too bright in here. I always record very early in the morning and yesterday I got my Neiman Marcus order. So I tried to record it later in the afternoon and uh, did it twice, once without the light because the, the sun moved behind the clouds and it was too dark and then once with just the window light. So I'm back in the morning and we are going to try this one more time. Um, this is my Neiman Marcus haul. This came out of their summer catalog and the reason why I'm doing back-to-back -back hauls is so that they don't run out if there's something that you see that you want. Um, it is a pricier haul, but things are still on sale. I don't shop a lot, uh, but I do have clothing lines that I feel my body wears really well. So um, I take advantage of sales. And the reason why I don't wait for the second markdown is because you can't find your size then. So hopefully there'll be something in here that you might like. You can keep an eye on it and see as it gets marked down. And um, some of the things you may not like and you may not care, okay? I'm gonna start with a pair of shoes first. Now I did open everything, of course, <laughs> but we're going to go through this again. Um, I bought two pair of Donald Pliner sandals. I really didn't remember ordering them when they came. I thought, well, I must have. But anyway, um, Donald Pliner and I get along well. My feet and Donald Pliner, I should say, get along well. Uh, I don't do well with toe, those little things that go between your big toe and your little you know, index toe or whatever that would be considered, um, unless it is cloth. Unfortunately, both of these shoes do have that in it. I'm going to try and wear them and see if it doesn't bother me because I do have one pair of Donald Pliner sandals that do have the thing between the toes and I can wear it. It seems to be like a very soft suede. Anyway, the name of this shoe is um, the, let's see, um, Flip. Let me look on here. It is the Flip Rhinestone Slide Sandal. I bought them in sand and black. The first pair I'm going to show you is sand. It does come with a little bag of rhinestones in case you lose a couple. So I thought that was kind of nice. Um, I'm not a bling bling person at all. I have two sisters that are very bling bling and one of my very dearest friends is a very bling bling girl, but I'm not. So this is very bling bling for me. Uh, they are very simple. They look like this, and as you can see, they have a little bit of rhinestone on them. They do have the little toe thingy. I ordered a seven in these because in Donald Pliner, I seem to do better with a seven than a six and a half. So the shoe looks like this. I wanted, I needed just something not so casual. I have some very casual, um, I can't wear flip-flops either, but I do have some casual sandals that I wear just for running around and roughhousing or whatever. Um, but I needed something when I'm wearing a sundress and I don't really want to wear heels and I need something flat. So I was hoping that these will work for me. We shall see. I prefer them in the black, which I will show you next. And um, you know, I'm just one of those creatures when something works for me or I really like something, when it goes on sale, I buy it in every color that I like. And this one had two colors, obviously. Like I said, I did not remember ordering it, but I must have. Uh, and it looks like this. I'm, Oh, it shows up better if I leave this little thingy in here, but I'm going to take it out so you can see. Um, but it has a little bit of black rhinestone on them, which makes them a little sassy. So I'm going to give them a go. I'm going to wear them around the house for a little bit. And again, this came with a little bag of sequins. Uh, I'm going to wear them around the house and see if they will work for me. But I thought they were just perfect for, you know, that sundress or just when you need a pair of flats for even your jeans, okay? So that was the shoe department. Now, in the clothing department, most of, most of the clothing is Eileen Fisher, which I will say right up front, Eileen Fisher can be very old lady if you pick the wrong items or if you wear the wrong pieces together. Um, it's a very flowy, boxy line, and I don't know why for the life of me. Most of her pants, she has an elastic gathered waist in them. This girlfriend gave up wearing elastic pants when her mommy was putting diapers on her. I don't wear elastic anything. Now I realize as we get older, 
in my 70s, late 70s, my 80s, I might, because you know, I'm planning on living to be 100. So in my 90s, I might want those elastic pants, but in my 50s, my late 50s, I don't want those elastic pants. So um, be careful when buying Eileen Fisher if you have the same attitude as I have. Um, of course, you need to dress for your body. I have told you all that I am, I used to be five, eight and a half. I'm five, six and three quarter maybe if I'm lucky. And I have short legs, long waist. I carry all my weight in my hips and my thighs and my belly. I am a pear shape for sure. And I am very long waisted average bust size, broader in the shoulders, longer arms. So that is my build. And I find that the Eileen Fisher and the Nick and Zoe line really wear well for my body. But anyway, so the first piece I'm going to show you, I actually shared with you in my Nick and Zoe Nordstrom haul. Neiman Marcus had it in a beautiful coral. So I now own this dress in several colors also diff different sleeve lengths. I'm telling you, this dress is just perfect if you are built like me. It is really um, a spectacular dress. It wears well. It's lightweight enough that you can wear it through the fall. You can wear it in spring. You can wear it in the summer. Um, but in Florida, I'll wear this in the winter because um, Florida, we've only been there once in the years we've been going where we've had cold weather and all the rest it's been very warm but we're usually down there during the holidays and um, I like to have a couple of nice dresses so that one will work the next one I ordered um, in the catalog I thought this looked much better than it actually does in but I bought it because I ordered it because it reminded me of the faux Chanel jackets and many of you may like it it's just it's just not for me and it is a pink tweed jacket. It is really beautiful, but when I put it on, it just did absolutely nothing for me. Now, I may put it on with a white t-shirt underneath and a pair of skinny jeans and heels, and it may change my opinion. Uh, anyway, it is really, really well made, and it has a beautiful... Um, it has a gold chain with pink ribbon and pearls along the um, opening of it all the way around the collar and it has the fringe on the sleeves and on the bottom just like a faux chanel the back is very plain it does have a pocket which has the um, gold chain and the pearls i just thought it was very beautiful in the catalog so i did order it like i said i'm going to try it on with some a white uh, tee and some jeans and see how it looks but I just I thought the design of it was really beautiful but you know it may not be a keeper so I'm not sure about that one okay so the next item I bought is a pair of the um, Eileen Fisher I'm trying to keep them with the bag so I can tell you the exact I'll list and link everything below okay so you won't need to worry if I don't know what the name of it is it'll be underneath for you okay all right I did find the package for this one this is their classic boot cut pants now this is not really a pants this is more like a legging legging and I have it in black already in the Eileen Fisher and they fit my body well um, this is a pair of graphite which I have never I don't have anything in this color I get medium sometimes a small in Eileen Fisher because she runs big but I get I got the medium in these because I did notice that they do slightly just slightly shrink um, whether you have them dry cleaned or you wash them now these are supposed to be washable um, but I always send my Eileen Fisher because I pay a lot of money for it to the dry cleaners with the exception of the t-shirts. Uh, anyway, this is just a pair of graphite pants and they go all the way and they have a boot cut. My black pair that I have are more like uh, ankle. So I thought, well, these will be really nice. And yes, I know many of you are saying those will go with the Donald Pliner boots she just bought. And they will. So I do like these. They have the normal waist. It's a flat waistband. It's not a gathered, I don't know why that lace. <laughs> I don't know why she does her waist like that, but she does. Maybe because she may have an older clientele. I don't know. The clothing are expensive. So I think that um, the clientele probably is older because, you know, as we get older, we have more money in life uh, to buy things versus a, you know, young girl who's, you know, still in school. But anyway, the Eileen Fisher pants, I like those. I haven't tried them on to see how they look yet. All right, so the next item, I bought these two items to go together. 
um, because they that's how they had them in the catalog and I thought oh they that looks really nice this is just a basic let me see if I have the list here this is your classic uh, let me see here the thing is all okay hang on twirl dress no I don't know what this is all right we're just gonna tell you it's a mid-length sundress and I it's in black I bought a medium and it's just your very plain sundress and it flows a little bit down on the bottom and it is mid-length because I have a lot of maxis but I wanted the mid-length and for over it I bought the jean jacket they were showing again Eileen Fisher they were showing to go over it so I thought this would be really great with just the jacket, the dress, and a flat pair of perhaps the Donald Pliner shoes that I got. But it's just a nice, it has a little bit of stretch. Now I'm, I'm hoping that it fits. I got the medium. It looks like it runs a little small, but it is a short-waisted jacket, which I usually don't buy um, because I like to cover the junk a little bit. But anyway, um, the, this is a medium, so hopefully it will fit me. It does have a lot of stretch. And like I said, normally she runs big. I have to worry about the arms of some clothing because my arms are a little bit larger and the shoulders. But um, I thought they would look really great together. And it's something that I don't have. So, um, you know, I try to branch out a little bit. <laughs> All right, so the next one I'm going to show you is a Nick and Zoe. And it's their illusion top, it's called. Again, I won't remember the names of everything, and I've got my bags all mixed up here that they came in, but I will list below for you. And this was just a beautiful white top. I love white, and it was just a beautiful white top, and it's a little bit shorter, so what I'll do with this is I'll wear a tank like this underneath that is longer, that, you know, so my belly isn't exposed if the short shirt is too short and that'll look really cute like with black jeans or something but it's just a white top and it does the knit changes down the center it has like an inch strip of a different knit pattern up the front and um, just very very basic and in the back same thing with the strip but it has a little bit of a uh, just a slight slit in the back. I think this is beautiful. It's lightweight. I just, I know I'm going to absolutely love this sweater, but I will have to wear a tank under it just because it may run a little bit short on me because I'm long-waisted. Now, if you're not long-waisted, you probably won't run into that problem with it. And that was the Nick and Zoe line. This next one is the, it's an Eileen Fisher, and this is the Bateau Neck Box Top. I loved the pattern, and I'm not a horizontal girl, but I really loved this shirt. And see what I mean about Eileen Fisher? She's very boxy, but this is great with jeans, and it's comfortable, and I just loved this top. And again, the sleeves are long sleeves, but I will probably scrunch them up like I do with everything else. But it was just really a nice, nice it can be casual or smart casual. Uh, it can even be dressy if you wear it with the right thing. But I just love the color combination. And like I said, I'm not a horizontal girl, but that one I found um, very nice. Then I bought a t-shirt. I always buy a couple of Eileen Fisher t-shirts when they're on sale. Um, they run normally like $68. I think they were $47 in the sale. But uh, it's just a peach uh, v-neck and it is a little bit longer in the back than the front, so you can tuck it into the front of the jeans, you know, half of it. Um, but I just, I like the Eileen Fisher t-shirts. I like to have some really nice t-shirts because if you're dressing in t-shirts and jeans and you're, you want to achieve that smart casual look, you don't want to be in a sloppy t-shirt. You want to have something that, you know, has, has got a better quality to it than, you know, the ones that I buy at Target, okay? All right, so I think that's it. The last items I'm going to show you, I, app I ordered it in three colors because I wasn't sure. I should have known better with the yellow because yellow and me just don't get along. My skin doesn't like yellow, even though my skin is yellow. Um, but you know, it's a raincoat. It's a very lightweight um, raincoat that I bought and it's one that goes down to your knees. It's a very casual raincoat. And um, I thought, you know, I've always wanted like a little yellow slicker rain jacket, but they just don't work for me. So I did order it in yellow. I'll go ahead and show it to you for those that might love a yellow. Um, it is, it's a beautiful yellow, but it's just not gonna work for me. But it's a great jacket. 
it um, actually has a drawstring so you can accentuate the waist if you'd like. But it has a lot of pocket space. It's very lightweight. It has a hood on it. Uh, it you know, it's just your basic raincoat, but it's made well. It has a little bit of detailing in the back right there. Um, other than that, it's just very simple. Uh, lots of pocket space. Really nice fabric. I have a few Eileen Fisher jackets that I love. I love. And I, those I throw right in the washing machine on the hand cycle and they just wash up beautifully. Um, so I really, I don't mind spending the extra money because these were expensive even on sale but um, they'll last me for years. That's the kind of shopper I am. I'm not, if you'll notice, I don't really fall into the trends a lot. Uh, I think they're beautiful, but for me, because my body always changes, which I've mentioned in past videos, um, I like to buy pieces that will last throughout the years, and then I just change them up with accessories and shoes and handbags. Um, but if they're quality and you take care of them, they last. So I find them to be worth the money then. This was the other color I got, which I do have the short raincoat in this. So I'm not sure. I may keep two of them. I may. I may. But this one here, this, this color just looks really well on me. This is um, an orange. They call it their coral or red coral or something. But I just really, really like it. Like I said, it does have the drawstring so you can accentuate the waist because I pull the, stra the drawstring in a little bit so it's not so boxy. Um, but I really just think it's a fabulous, fabulous jacket. So here we go, the last one, which I love, love, love this. And this is my preference because I am a, I love black clothing, love it. As much, I like white tops and black clothing. I love black clothing. Anyway, it comes in black also. Now the problem with me in black is my sweet little fur baby, Bindi, is white and she is a, she's an American Bulldog, so she is a heavy, heavy shedder. And uh, this is a vac two times a day house. But anyway, I may keep it because it's just spectacular in the black. I just loved it. So that is my <coughs> Neiman Marcus haul. And I can probably tell you all but maybe three pieces um, I will send back. Maybe the shoes if I can't work with them. But um, the sweaters, it, you know, I have to try everything on and see how they fit. So that is you my mean. Neiman Marcus summer sale haul. Uh, let us know if in the comments if you're going to take advantage of any of the stores that are running their great sales now or if there's some stores that you think we should know about because I don't get every mailer in the world. Uh, I knew about the Nordstrom because of one of you because I'm not a Nordstrom card holder so I don't get their catalogs. So uh, one of you told me about this upcoming sale with the Revitalash, so that's how I knew they were having a great sale. Neiman Marcus, I order from there a lot, so I do get their catalogs. But um, I like knowing, like Lucky, they sent me a $25 off. You get on the mailing list, you get a lot of good coupons in the mail. So even if you don't have a credit card, we use one credit card for uh, flying miles. So um, even if you don't have the store credit cards, if you get on their mailing list, sometimes they send the catalogs out and then you can take advantage of the sales. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, subscribe. We're anti-aging here. Be happy, healthy, beautiful, and most of all, my friends, lovable. I love you all. Bisous.